Hello students, welcome back to a new mathematics program for grade 9. Today we are going to talk about the chapter trigonometry. Well, this video is the third and final part of this chapter. Remember that in the first video we talk about the definition of trigonometry. We have seen some application of trigonometry in real life. We have revisited the Pythagoras theorem and then you were introduced to trigonometric ratios. In the second video, we talk more on trigonometric ratios and we have used trigonometric ratios to find unknown sides and unknown angles. In this third and final part of this chapter, we are going to talk more on trigonometric ratios and some applications of trigonometry. Students, in this program, you are going to learn about using trigonometric ratios to find unknown sides and angles in compound triangles. Then, we're going to look at some applications of trigonometric ratios. So first, let's begin with compound triangles. Compound triangles are figures containing more than one triangle. So, in this figure ABCD, BC equal to 8 centimeters, AC equal to 10 centimeters, and the angle ADB equal to 30 degrees. You are asked to calculate the length of AB and the length of AD. As you can see in this figure, we have different triangles. So first, to be able to find the length of AB, you will have to look at the triangle containing the side AB. So it's good to draw the triangle ABC, where you will notice that AC equal to 10 centimeters, BC is 8 centimeters, and since we have a right angle triangle where two sides are known, you need to find the third side so we can use the Pythagoras theorem. For this triangle, AC square equal to AB square plus BC square, replacing the values of AC and that of BC we have 10 to the square equal to AB square plus 8 square. Simplifying 10 to the square and 8 to the square, we have 100 equal to AB square plus 64. Of course, to obtain AB square, you're going to subtract 64 from 100. So AB square equal to 36. Hence, AB equal to the square root of 36, which is equal to 6 centimeters. Now, to obtain the length of AD, we must use another triangle from this figure. If we try to use the triangle ACD, we will notice that this is not a right angle triangle. So if it is not a right angle triangle, we can neither use the Pythagoras theorem nor trigonometric ratios. So we are going to use the triangle a, B, D, where A, B equal to 6 centimeters and the given angle in this triangle is 30 degrees. Since A, B is the opposite side and A, D is the hypotenuse, we are going to use the trigonometric ratio sign. As you can see here, using the acronym SOCATOI, you will notice that the Trigonometric ratio sine can be used to obtain the length of AD. So sine of 30 degrees equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Replacing the given value of sine of 30 degrees, which is 0 0.5, and replacing the opposite side by 6 centimeters, hypotenuse is AD. Now we multiply both sides by AD to eliminate the denominator on the right-hand side we will be left with 0 0.5 times AD equal to 6. Now, to obtain AD, you are going to multiply both sides by 1 over 0 0.5, which is the multiplicative inverse of 0 0.5. This 0 0.5 will get cancelled on the left-hand side. We will be left with AD equal to 6 times 1 over 0 0.5, which is same as 6 divided by 0 0.5, which is equal to 12 
centimeters. So in this question, we have used different triangles to find the different length that were asked in this question. Now, let's have a look at an application of trigonometry. A pole 15 meters long leaning against a vertical wall makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ground. You are asked to find how high on the wall does the pole reach. Then you are also asked to find how far is the foot of the pole from the wall. You are given with the values of cos, sine and tan of 40 degrees because remember that you are not allowed to use an electronic calculator. Now, to be able to use trigonometric ratios in this situation, you will first need to find out where is your right angled triangle. In this figure, here is your right angled triangle. Now it's good to draw the triangle with the angle 40 degrees. You will notice that in this right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is the length of the pole, which is 15 meters. In this question, you are asked to calculate the height and the distance from the wall to the foot of the pole. So in this question, you are going to calculate both the opposite and the adjacent. The hypotenuse is given to you and the angle to be used is 40 degrees. So you are going to use both the ratio sine and cos. First, sine of 40 degrees equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 40 degrees is 0 0.64. The opposite side is the height that needs to be calculated. The hypotenuse is 15. So we multiply both sides by 15 to eliminate the denominator. The 15 will get cancelled on the right hand side. So the height is equal to 0 0.64 times 15, which is equal to 9.6 meters. For the second part, we are going to use cos. Cos of 40 degrees equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The given value of cos of 40 degrees is 0 0.77, equal to the adjacent side, which is the required distance, the distance that needs to be calculated, over 15, which is the hypotenuse. Again, we multiply both sides by 15 to eliminate the denominator. We will be left with distance equal to 15 times 0 0.77, which is equal to 11. 5, 5 meters. So, so here is an example where we have used trigonometric ratios in a situation where a pole leaning against a wall was given to you. Now students, I'm going to give you some exercises for practice. In the first exercise, you have a diagram ABCD which is a compound figure, that is you have more than one triangle in this figure, you need to calculate the length of BD and that of CD. Since the given angle here is 30 degrees and you are not allowed to use an electronic calculator, values of cos, sine and tan of 30 degrees are given to you. Second exercise, here again you have a compound figure where ABC is a triangle such that ADC is a straight line with BD perpendicular to AC and triangle BCD is isosceles. AB equal to 8 centimeters, BC equal to 14 centimeters and the angle ABD is 60 degrees. You are asked to calculate the length of BD, AD, and hence you need to calculate the perimeter of the triangle ABC. 
values of sine, cos, and tan of 60 degrees are given to you. Third exercise, calculate the height of the building given that the horizontal distance from a point C at ground level is 30 meters and the top of the building makes an angle x degrees with the horizontal. For this exercise, the values of cos, sine and tan of x degrees are given to you. Fourth exercise, Avinish is flying a kite and suddenly he realizes that 40 meters of string are out. If the string makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ground, calculate how high is Avinish's kite above the ground. Since we are using an angle of 40 degrees, here sine, cos and tan of 40 degrees are given to you. Fifth exercise, a ladder is leaning against a vertical wall, makes an angle of 60 degrees with the ground. The foot of the ladder is 3.7 meters from the wall. Find the length of the ladder. Here, values of cos, sine and tan of 60 degrees are given to you. Again, remember that you are not allowed to use an electronic calculator. That is why the different trigonometric ratios are given to you. So students, in this program, you learned about using trigonometric ratios to find unknown sides and angles in compound triangles. Then you learned about applications of trigonometric ratios. If you want to have some more information on this chapter, here are some links. Students, this program based on trigonometry ends here. Remember that this video was the third and final part of this chapter. So see you soon for another chapter. Till then, goodbye.